Hi, I'm Lee Partridge. Welcome back to Colu TV with Wayne Brown and the lads taking on South End United in the last of the pre-season friendlies here at the JobServe Community Stadium. Uh, mind you, a bit of local rivalry, so can you call it a friendly? I think everyone's going out there, certainly, to get a result. Uh, and also talking of friendlies, I'm sure you will join me in wishing Amir Hughes a speedy recovery after an awful challenge in Friday night's game against Millwall. We're still waiting to get the full results of the scan, so fingers crossed it's not too bad, although it did look a very nasty challenge. I think you'll uh, join me in wishing him all the best. We'll bring you the highlights and some reaction to the game later on in the show, but first we've got to start with the Open Day, where thousands of Colchester United fans, thousands of you and Colchester residents descended on the stadium on Sunday on a glorious sunny day. It was a beautiful day weather-wise. And from what we've seen and heard on social media, everybody really enjoyed themselves. Fantastic family day. I spoke to Robbie Cowling, uh, Robbie Cowling afterwards when things had settled down a little bit, and we'll hear from that very shortly. But first, let's take a look how the day itself unfolded. So we've just come in uh, after the open day, the Q&A, Robbie. Great to have the open day back. So many people turning up. Your thoughts on the day itself? I think it's been brilliant. It's really exceeded expectations. You know what I mean? And before I say anything, I was a part of the Q&A. You know, I was saying a lot of thank yous to people that, that were rightly so. But I forgot to thank the staff for putting on today. They've been, they've been exceptional over a long time here now. And to get this on at fairly short notice, you know, we didn't know for definite we were doing an open day this year. And I think it's been been one of our best ever. So, uh, well done to Tim and all the rest of the people over at the stadium for how, how hard they've worked. Yeah, because so many people did turn at families. Great to see the families and, and the young people yeah, coming in and around. Yeah, There's great. The sign you know. the... Yeah, and the players play such a big part in today, don't they? You know, they come, they train, they spend a lot of time signing all the autographs and making sure they're available to everybody. So... I don't know. I'm not sure how many clubs do, do this as well as we do. No, I wouldn't have thought so. And uh, so many of you come in the studio as well. Come and sat here and had your picture taken. So I hope you've uh, got some good pictures of that. Uh, Robbie, the game for Ukraine has been well publicised in the amount of money. We had the shirts. The online auction finished at one o'clock, but we then continued the live auction. Some of the shirts went for more money. You know, a lot of money raised from the day just giving and the shirts themselves. You've got to be proud of that, Rob. Yeah, once again, exceptional generosity from our fans, you know what I mean, for for what they bid on those shirts. So really, really surprised me how much people have been prepared to pay. In some ways, in other ways, no. I mean, it was a historic game and them shirts should have good value for a long, long time, you know. And uh, no, so well done. Well done, everyone that bid. Well done, everyone that won a shirt. And... Uh... Finally, thoughts about the season ahead, the upcoming season. Looking forward to it. There's a little yeah. smile on your face there, Robbie. Yeah, a bit of a wry smile. No, I mean, I'm, I am look, looking forward to it. You know, you're always a little bit apprehensive because optimism when you sign players, we think we've got a good squad. We think we can go carry on from where we left off last season. And we've been, we've been handed a very tough start. Very, very tough start. Or, or it looks that way on paper. You never fully know. So, um, yeah, just want to see that momentum carried forward. But going into it with quite a lot of confidence. Uh, thanks for taking the time out to uh, join us here. And we'll see you again in the near future. Yeah, thank okay. you, Lee. I know no, you've um, today coming over and doing all this. Yep. It's no very problem. grateful. No, it's good to be part of. Thanks again. Robbie Cowley. Seems like Robbie enjoyed the day as much as all the fans we've heard from. Fantastic day for everybody involved. Although the shirts weren't uh, available, 
the kits uh, on the day to purchase. Thank you to everybody who placed their pre-orders and we'll get them to you as soon as we possibly can. As we saw also on Sunday, the squad were training on out there on the pitch, right out there, getting ready for tonight's game against South End. And as we said, they faced, we faced on Friday, Millwall as they came to the JobServe Community Stadium, in which was a competitive game to say the least. Let's take a look at the highlights and get Joe Dunn's thoughts on the game afterwards. The ball boys, the ball girls would have got the ball back instantly as Mitchell chested down, lifts it into the coldest United penalty here, and not a convincing clearance by Clampin. A shot, oh, great block just coming in by Cole Skews. Whether they can open up Coldest United as Wallace threads it down the left hand side. Cross comes in, he's penalty here, half missed by Smith, shot, a four with the follow up effort, and Coldest United just about to clear their lines, but Hannant with the free kick looking for Tommy Smith who scored in a similar position on Tuesday. Hughes still looking to create a chance and lifted over the bar from just outside the penalty area. By no, I think Ryan Clampin was obviously trying to find that ball in behind him but just got the angles all wrong didn't he and uh, I think now that, that was a bad bad challenge from uh, Cooper. Yeah, and that's left Emir Hughes in a great deal of pain on the halfway line. He's just receives a round of applause as he comes off the pitch and we hope that once things have been assessed that it isn't as bad as it looks but right now Emir Hughes being stretched off the pitch here at the JobServe Community Stadium so got everyone bar Billy Mitchell and Murray Wallace in the area for Millwall it's flicked on and then Jamal George has missed that from the header and Millwall take the lead right at the end of this first half in slow motion which obviously the referee doesn't get a chance to, to see it looks a Terrific burst forward by Junior Chamberlain. Edge of the penalty area on his left foot. Wants help. Gets help. Loses out. But what pace. Judge. Great delivery into the penalty area. Headed downwards. Kept out by the goalkeeper. Five tip to his right. And Cole just United knocking on the door and putting Millwall under pressure. It's Cooper, the goal scorer. Goes on a run towards the edge of the area for Millwall. It's chipped over the top by Fleming looking for Malone. Jamal George was out to it and then it's laid off by Kinde to Cox. Now back to Ashley, seeing a lot of the ball at the moment. Now the ball threaded through to Cooper, lays it off for Cox. Cox, right hand side of the penalty area, long low ball across the penalty area and the man in the middle. Joe, we know that results aren't that important in pre season, but tonight doesn't really matter much at all, does it? How's Emma Hughes? No, um, it's kind of put a shadow over what I thought was a really good physical performance from the team tonight. Um, unfortunately, it's not great at the moment. Um, we're hoping it, it's one of those injuries that at first look, I haven't seen the pictures as well, it's, it's not great. Um, I have to say, I don't know why the guy is making that tackle like that in pre-season. I'm really disappointed, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's initially it's bad um, and you just hope um, that it's one of you wake up and it's and probably, you know, when you're in the corner, it's not as bad as what you first thought. Um, but I'm not sure, uh, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we just wish um, a speedy recovery and we all want to be around and make sure we support him. The physio and medical department do the best for him. Um, and hopefully that it's sooner rather than later. Yeah, and obviously you're you're playing against a side up a level from Charlton. Did you feel that our performance was up a level as well? Because we did from the sidelines. Yeah, I thought um, moving on from Charlton, I thought the idea coming into tonight and both games really was um, was not to make mass changes, was to make sporadic changes. So to try and keep some momentum in the play. And I thought we uh, that strategy worked tonight. Um, obviously, Gaffer wanted to uh, to have a. A bigger intensity to the match to, to build for next week and I thought we did that I thought in both halves you know there was two um, two different styles two different ways of playing and I thought the players um, from a physical point of view from what they got from tonight was uh, was good yeah and are we at that stage of pre-season where you the em emphasis is moving more towards tactical and and technical rather than just a purely physical and fitness side of pre-season yeah I, I would agree with that I think um, we kind of saw that tonight um, and, and 
you're trying to get as close as what you can to to match play next week now with two games to go against Southend and Ebbsfleet that you want to be um, as close as you can to to the league league two kickoff and I'm sure those teams will be the same so you want that kind of um, ferocity now going into next week yeah and obviously we've still got a game to come on Tuesday here yeah. against Southend United Will that be the first game that you play players for ninety minutes, or are we still not quite at that level yet? I think no. I think next week. Um, I think next week we can start with the push ninety. I think we're where we're building with the with the way we want to uh, use the players. Like some are used for forty five tonight, um, sixty and seventies, and so on. I think we can, uh, like I said, build towards league action really next week. So I can. I think the players have to be ready to do that. Yeah. And Wayne's already challenged it. We, we, we've heard him talk about challenging yeah. the players now yeah. to make him pick them for that Northampton game. Yeah. And that's what you want, that mentality you want from all the players, not just the 11 yeah. that end up starting. I think when you get to the last two weeks, it becomes, it doesn't really become pre-season. I think um, anyone who's ever been in their position, as, as players or coaches, understand that um, the kind of nicety stuff when it becomes about uh, making sure you're picked on, on day one and, I think the, the the next two week build up is a, is a, a serious case of that. So as a player now, you've got to make sure you prepare right and make the manager pick you really or head coach. I think it's obvious from Joe's reaction that the injury to Amir Hughes soured what was a competitive game with some positives coming out of a good use performance. More minutes and game time for the players. Things that was worked on in training, being transferred to match play. That's always good to see pre-season. And some young players having more experience of the first team environment. One player that has been fully involved in pre-season this summer has been Luke Hannant. If you remember, Luke had COVID-19 this time last year and suffered badly with the symptoms in the aftermath. He's having a full pre-season this time round and he's looking forward to the season. Luke, challenging game against the championship opposition in Millwall, but it looked like a very competitive game. Yeah, I think coming into it, um, we knew it was going to be a tough game, a good championship side. Um, who you can see play well out through the back, but I think that's something that we've worked on in the last few weeks, especially against uh, the Swansea game as well. We um, set a high trap and we were just moving across the pitch really well and really well organised, so it's something that we've worked on and Try and it's a good um, game to come in and showcase that as well because we know the quality of their players, so you want to judge yourself against them. Um, and yeah, I feel like we're progressing really well. And even against the championship team, we, we're creating chances and, and we're looking good in areas. Yeah, and we're probably at this stage of pre season where, yes, of course, fitness is still an issue, but you're looking at how you're going to be playing those games in the league and wanting to put those things into practice. Yeah, um, as Gaffer said, we're building up the minutes now. Um, it's just trying to get yourself to that level. And I think with the minutes that the lads have done, uh, they've been shared out evenly as well and everyone's at a good level now. I feel like we could have easily gone longer. Um, some of the lads that played in my half, um, we felt really fit. And yeah, against teams like that as well, you want to judge yourself against the better teams. And if you're keeping up to their standards and fitness levels, then it's, it's encouraging for the start of the season. And on a personal level, not just for you, but for everyone, you get into that two weeks before the season starts and you do want to be playing 90 minutes ready for Northampton. Yeah, exactly. You want to be playing as many minutes as you can because you want to go into the season as fit and as strong as you can um, and just want to impress in every game. I feel like the, the formation that we're playing this year as well, that the gaffer's got us playing, is allowing us to be more attacking. We can press teams higher up the pitch, win the ball higher, and then it's only going to lead to, to more chances as well. So... All the lads are buying into to what the gaffer's doing here and everyone's looking really good in training and the games as well. Yeah, and has it made a difference that uh, Wayne, Joe and Dave have been able to put lots of things into practice during pre-season better than they were able to do when they came in and bet it was game after game after game when they came in uh, halfway through the season? Yeah, I think so. Um, especially the break as well. Um, they, they know what they're working with because they've had us during the season, so they knew the basics really about the team and the players and knew how they could play and what the attributes were. And I think we've just built on that during pre-season. We've played a few formations to try and suit the players we've got. And I think we've found a few now that um, are allowing us to, to do well and hopefully score more goals this year and win more games. Brilliant. 
Luke Hannan's thoughts there as we caught up with him after the Millwall game. Uh, just like to say, it was uh, great to meet so many of you in person at the Open Day here on Sunday and uh, that, that watched the show. And lots of people got to come in here, sit in here, see how we do things. So that was great. Young kids uh, seeing themselves on telly. Fantastic. If you do want to contact us here about anything, if you want to mention on the show, a birthday or on the big screen on a match day or even in the programme, send everything into media at colchesterunited.net. That's media at colchesterunited.net. Dot net. Now, the season will soon be starting, just Saturday's trip to Ebbsfleet to come before the opener against Northampton on July.